Ghanaian businesses to succeed, primarily. That's all. But we also, uh, you know, we, we are in partnership with the other countries. And as the CFTA comes in, um, we need to be clear on what our objectives are and how we engage the other countries. Um, we are looking at a, a sector that would remove tariff and non-tariff barriers uh, to trade. And so that's the, the, the frame of which we look at many of these things. But at the end of the day, the beneficiary must be Ghana and the continent. So you're looking at leveraging the CFTA to address this issue? No, no, no. Those issues have been with us for a while. I mean, what Guta is complaining about is not new. It's been there over the past 20 years uh, where we have uh, foreigners in the market. As, as long as the law states um, that if you are not a Ghanaian, you can't invest or operate in certain investments and in certain areas we call markets. So that's the law. And if the law is, says that, it must be complied with. So, of course, they have a legitimate cause to say they are foreigners in the market. But the problem extends beyond that because, you know, we have Ghanaians also in Nigeria, we have Ghanaians in Cote d'Ivoire, we have Ivorians in Ghana, we have, you know, there's a crisscross and a mishmash of inter country relationships which we need to manage. And then, of course, there are the ECOWAS protocols. Uh, and then, of course, now we have the CFTA. So, in the frame of all that, we have to be careful how we craft the law, such that we are not at a disadvantage.